part of what I said to advice that you would give to Christians is to find those verses, those statements of Jesus, where he proves himself he's not God. When a man, a human being, says repeatedly throughout, throughout the four Gospels, when he repeatedly says things like, why thou call me good? There's none good other than the Father. He's separating himself from himself and God. When he says, um, as I already mentioned, in many places, when he said, Oh Father, Oh Abba, he actually used the word Abba, Oh Father, I thank you for always accepting my prayers. I thank you always for, um, you know, re re uh, re responding to my prayers. And where he repeatedly says that the Father has sent me, I have been sent by the Father. These are all clear indications that he is not God. But the one place which is so profound is when he was asked or when he was accused of blasphemy in the Gospel of John. This is so profound that Christians, it glazes their eyes, they just go over their head. Where Jesus was accused of blasphemy and where he said to the Pharisees, for what good works that I have done that you wish to stone me, you, you wish to, uh, you accuse me of blasphemy. And their answer was, not for any good works, but you, being a man, call yourself or make out yourself to be God, which, which is not what he said, but this is what he accused him of. So here was the question put to Jesus. You make yourself out to be God. Now, what was the answer should be? The answer should be, yes, yes, I am God, yes, no, yes. But he didn't answer. He said, is it not written in your law that those who brought the law are gods? Meaning the prophets of God who brought the divine teaching were gods, meaning God called them gods. Meaning they represented God. Jesus said, yet I, you call me blasphemous because I call myself the son of God. Who God sanctified, who God sent into the world. So here, he denied being God. I, I hope that I've made that somehow clear. Because God said to Moses and Aaron, you are gods, you are sent unto Pharaoh as gods. Meaning, in, in biblical language, in ancient religious language, anyone who went representing God like a prophet, it was as if God is standing in front and God commanding them. This is the meaning of it. So Jesus was saying, God called the prophets God, but they were not gods and they were not accused of blasphemy because they were not God. But you call me blasphemous because I call myself the son of God, when I'm only his representative. So here Jesus denies being God. The last one I will mention, in Hebrews 5, 7, it says, and there's many I can show you. Uh, there's so many, but I'm just trying to think off my head now. Jesus said, uh, sorry, in, in Hebrews 5, 7, it says, in the days of his flesh, meaning Jesus, who offered up prayers to him who could save him, and his prayers were accepted out of the reverence God had for him. So here, whoever wrote 
Hebrews is acknowledging that Jesus as a human being prayed to God to be saved from the cross. That's what it was about. God accepted his prayer. So there's many places when you read from the words and mouth of Jesus, you, will, you can prove that he is not God. Okay? 